portal frame trader. Oh my gosh, what is he gonna give me? <gasps> and portal frame. Oh my. Give me the frames. Give me the frames. These fake Minecraft speedruns give me physical pain. This special gift is from your one and only Obama. No way we got spectator mode. Wait, you son of a- And they just keep getting worse. This is probably the worst fake speedrun that I will ever review, but it's so unoriginal and so blatantly stupid that I couldn't help- I couldn't help myself. There's speedrunning Minecraft in multiplayer. I don't know what Karo SMP is or Gogo Iori. I have no idea what that is. But for this speedrun, we are being graced by Ryle Speedruns 100% Verified. And would you look at that, there's already one person starting out the speedrun. Nothing like getting a head start. So the speedrunner enters the server, and in front of them is- is just their friend. No disguises, no tricks up their sleeves, and they're in creative mode. And there's a trail of redstone torches leading to something. At least there's some effort here for the speedrunner to conceal their cheating, so they try to put themselves into survival mode. Unfortunately, they don't know how to spell gameoid. Uh... And I love how as soon as they go into survival mode, the act begins. Oh my gosh, guys! We found the guider! I think maybe they meant to cut out all the fat of this speedrun footage, and then they just got lazy and never did it. Anyways, it doesn't matter. They encountered the rare and illustrious guider. Very original. But there's unfortunately not much to this. The guider guides him to what looks like a McDonald's playscape, and underneath it is a cavern with a nether portal. The speedrunner enters this cave, but oddly enough, there is a sudden cut, and now they're in creative mode. Then they by accident left click on the portal, breaking it. So they give themselves flint and steel, relight the nether portal, and put themselves back into survival. Like I said, I, I, I think they meant to cut all this stuff out. I'm not quite sure. So as soon as the speedrunner enters the nether, they find the Ender Pyral and Blaze Rot Trader's House, a very rare structure. Upon finding this extremely rare structure, the speedrunner proceeds to say, Oh my gosh, guys, a billion times in a row. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. And yeah, yada yada yada. The speedrunner gets Ender Pearls, Blaze Powder, Netherite gear and weapons, and then the goofy Minecraft guide floats up into the sky. I sure hope the speedrun is entertaining for you because I am in more pain than when I forced myself to play the Gollum game. I feel like I've said this a hundred times today, but again, the next few moments I, I really cannot put into words, so I'm just gonna have to play the clip and let you experience it for yourself. It is a fever dream. Oh, um, okay, guys, uh, um, just, uh, uh, so, what? Finally, I swear, uh, I mean, oh my gosh, guys, it's the food trader. What, is, what food will he give me? The further I get into this speed run, the more I believe that all of this goofy nonsense was supposed to be cut from the footage. Yeah, they found the food trader, played by the same actor who plays the guide and the Ender Pyral and Blaze Rot trader's house. Unfortunately, I think this production had a lower budget, so they had to reuse actors. Anyways, yada yada. The speed runner gets cooked poorly pork chop from the magical food trader and this is the part in the speed run where I just I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the end of it the level of originality is so low oh my gosh guys we found the end portal frame trader yeah they found the end portal frame trader also played by the same actor. Oh my gosh, what is he gonna give me? What what is he gonna give you? Gee I don't know maybe the end portal frame <gasps> end portal frame oh Give me the frames. Give me the frames! Thank you so much. So yes, the speedrunner gets a stack of end portal frames, but as soon as they realize that they don't have Eyes of Ender, they start to experience some frustrations and technical difficulties. Dude, why didn't you give me the... Did I? I'm... Am I still... I'm still recording my... Okay, guys, it's just something glitch. So yeah, there's a sudden cut, and now that I think of it, I don't even know why they made a sudden cut in the footage, because they had blaze powder and they had ender pearls, so they could have just crafted the eyes of ender themselves. Well, they make the eyes of ender, they start filling the portal, but as soon as they fill in the last portal frame, the speedrun footage just 
ends. I found this fake speed run on my hard drive. I have no idea where it came from. So if anyone has any idea where this came from, and if there's a part two, please let me know. Because now I'm not going to be able to sleep at night not knowing what happens next. I mean, the possibilities are endless. He could have found the PP trader. He could have found a gun. And speaking of guns, I know you're not going to believe me, but I tried speed running. And don't worry, it's nothing like my Minecraft speed run. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to talk about that. As I was saying, I speed ran guns in Pokemon with guns. I want to be the very best. Do -ba, do -ba, be -be and not to brag, but I achieved world record time. So if you want to see it, it's on my channel. That's all I'm going to say about that. This speed run, well, it says modded at the bottom left. I have so much to look forward to. The speedrunner makes their world name Baud Rawud. And of course, they're using an annoying text-to-speech voice. Let's go, there's a tree. Oh boy, woohoo. Let's get into this. I am thoroughly impressed that the speed run does have a timer. So you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this speed run is going to be extremely promising. The speedrunner spawns in a desert. Nothing looks off here. No experience points. They're selecting the first slot, and there's just a normal tree behind them. They break the tree, getting six logs, but then they turn around after a sudden cut, and there's just a billion logs. I've seen this trick one too many times. Haha, ha, you got me. Again, after an extremely sudden cut, the speedrunner finds themselves right outside of a village, and the footage clearly says set on game mode to survival. I wonder if they were in creative mode. Well, anyways, the speedrunner Runner enters a village house, opening a chest. Genuinely, there's no way for me to really commentate what's about to happen next. The only way you're gonna experience this is by me showing you. Just watch. It's wild. Guys, I heard that. If you mine under here, you might ask underwear. Haha, <laughs> after you ruthlessly end this stupid kid, then you mine under this bell, you will find. I don't know if this is some sort of legendary mythical encounter in Minecraft, but just to recap, the speedrunner found underwear, murdered a villager child, rang a bell, and then mined under it, and that leads to discovering a sheep committing nefarious acts. I am very, very confused. Regardless, the speedrunner builds up from this cave, and they immediately find a ruined nether portal on the surface. It's just missing one obsidian, and what do you know, they open up the chest, and they find one obsidian. But when they try putting the obsidian down, they misplace it. So there's another sudden cut to the speed run, and the player is now digging down again. And I sure hope he doesn't see what he saw last time he dug down. Miraculously, they find another, I'm air quoting, ruined nether portal. So they light it and they enter the nether. But instead of showing us the loading screen, the speedrunner puts on a Microsoft Movie Maker transition. And again, the next few moments are just very, very confusing. Before I show you the next sequence of events, I just want to comment on the fact that in the background audio of this footage, it, it sounds like this guy is playing video games on a moving train. It is so loud. Guys, I heard that if we kill this pig boy, we get steak. Let's go, we got suspicious stew. What it shouldn't suppose to drop this. Why in the world? They kill a pig, there's a sudden cut, and then there's just a billion suspicious stew in front of them. I don't understand, what is the joke here? No surprise here, there is another sudden cut. It says set own game mode to survival. There really is just no way for me to commentate on what is about to happen. I'm just gonna have to show you. So there's this new update. When we say please give my rods back, there is a 50% chance of fire rods spawning under this block. Yes, it worked. Let's freaking go, man. Yeah, so to recap, they dig straight down finding a bunch of magma blocks with a chest. Inside the chest is 64 blaze rods, and above the chest is a sign that says, please release my family? It feels like whoever made this speed run is just coming up with random things just for the sake of being random. Or perhaps this is the first AI-generated fake Minecraft speed run. I, I, I can't tell. I honestly can't tell. And the next step in the speed run, of course, would be to find ender pearls, right? Uh, well, the speedrunner words it a little differently. Okay, now to get blue balls, we need to find Elon Musk. Okay, so now I'm really intrigued. They have to get the blue balls and find Elon Musk. <coughs> so the speedrunner is now outside of Elon Muck House. They get Ender Pearls. They put themselves into creative mode, revealing a lot of baloney in their chat history. Creative mode, survival mode. <laughs> He was killed by a piglin. He located a ruined nether portal, changing the time. And then he just locates the stronghold and teleports himself to that area. Then says this. I have a gut feeling 
that this random location will help us find the stronghold. Yeah, buddy, I, I got a gut feeling that I'm not gonna make it to the end of the speedrun. The speedrunner digs down, and if I go frame by frame here, they didn't even do the teleport correctly. There's very clearly a cut to them getting into the portal room, and the strangest part about this sequence of events is they literally have Eyes of Ender and Blaze Rods in their inventory. All they have to do is turn the Blaze Rods into powder and then combine it with the eyes. But instead, they go into creative mode and give themselves Eyes of Ender. So they fill the portal with eyes and go back into survival mode, acting as if none of that ever happened. And in record time, just under two minutes, the speedrunner gets into the end. Finding, um, I can't watch this. A house with a sign on it that says gift from Obama. That's great. This special gift is from your one <laughs> and only Obama. Please use this wisely because it might be the cause of your loss in the speed run. But don't worry since I got a plan. Read next page to see the plan. Well, they walk on the pressure plate, putting them into spectator mode. But unfortunately, the speedrunner is not happy about this. No way we got spectator mode. Wait, you son of a- he really should have read page two. You can't tell me Obama wasn't trying to help him. The speedrunner resorts to just using a command to kill everything. So after killing himself, he respawns, returns to the end, and his timer has been reset to four seconds. He puts himself back into survival mode, getting more suspicious stew. I, I don't know what this guy's fascination is with suspicious stew. Jumping into the portal, beating the game in a world record 0.52 seconds. Wow, very impressive. But there's actually four seconds left of this clip. And and, uh, something tells me he knows he's cheating. Just beat Minecraft. I am innocent, please don't. Gee, I don't know what it is. But you know who didn't cheat? Me, when I speedran guns in Pokemon with guns. Yeah, I'm legit. This next speedrun is extremely promising. Let me just show you the first five seconds, and you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna be speedrunning Minecraft. That intro really made me feel like I was watching YouTube in 2010. The footage for the speedrun is only 28 seconds, so there's really only a few things that could happen here. But one thing is for sure, this guy is really fast. If we're gonna be going for the world record, and oh my god, guys, look, an Ender Dragon appeared! That's world record! Let's go! That was truly impressive. I know that speed run was a lot quicker than the usual ones I cover, but I really wanted to take a moment to showcase the sheer skill of a single player. I'm very inspired. I'm also very inspired by what's going on in their other tab, like how they have a bookmark for Pokemon Sapphire, or their YouTube homepage, Beijing Corn Taste Failure. What is this guy watching? All right, this speed run, there's a lot to unpack here. <clears throat> There is a Wondershare Filmora Go watermark at the bottom right of the screen. There are so many free video editors to use, and you you decide to use Wondershare. Probably spyware. Anyways, on top of that, it appears as if they are speedrunning on a console, or they're just playing with a controller. Either way, I don't know how people play this game on a controller. They have a very goofy-looking timer at the top right of their screen. They're also giving us the courtesy of having some text on the screen saying, all right, guys, don't worry, top one speedrun in the bag. And they say that while the timer is at zero and they're already in a chest that has full netherite armor in it. They're just so fast that we didn't see everything that happened before. No, but legitimately, I didn't even click play yet. So I'm very intrigued to see what happens next. As soon as they collect their loot, the timer starts and they equip their armor. They walk forward, falling down a hole, and beneath them is a filled end portal. Uh, you know what? This isn't a fake Minecraft speedrun. This is this is just uh, any percent. They're not cheating. So the speedrunner enters the end and they pick up up an ender pearl, throwing it like a distance of three blocks, which really does not help them at all. But straight ahead, you can see there's experience points all over the ground, which means the dragon is already dead. Or so I thought. As the speedrunner gets closer and closer to the middle of the end island, I catch a glimpse of the ender dragon. And wow, with the new update, it is looking more menacing than ever. So the speedrunner engages in a grisly batter battle. Battle, I can't speak. So the speedrunner engages in a grisly battle with the ender dragon. And as soon as he kills it, just in case we forgot, the screen is plastered with text saying dragon down. Of course, the speedrunner wastes a bunch of time collecting experience points. Then they do a 360 into the portal saying GG too easy, 53 second world record. <clears throat> Yeah, I regret watching that one. But you know what you won't regret watching? My world record speedrun in Pokemon with guns. What in the world? Like all fake Minecraft speedruns, before I even click play on this one, there is a lot to unpack. Their version of the game looks 
so modified, it doesn't even look like Minecraft anymore. They are very clearly playing with their friend Parkour Pro 20. As soon as they exit out of the menu, we immediately see they have a ton of status effects, as well as the fact that they are using a very ugly resource pack. And when they open the chat box, they're showing all of their chat history, which is going to give us a pretty decent idea of what's going to happen next. There's a bunch of command block stuff that has to do with summoning lightning bolts. Then they say, hello guys, today we'll do a speed run. Don't mind the stuff above, I totally did not try to cheat. Their friend says okay, then the speedrunner says, anyways, I will make crafting table. OMG, it's God. Hi God. Wow God. God, can you build an end portal? OMG guys, it's actually God, the newest update. Then their friend, Parkour Pro 2066, presumably is God. How dear, how dear you try hitting me. PV2 cool died, so I'm assuming God killed them. The speedrunner clears their inventory, and then they went into creative mode. Reading all that was honestly more riveting than the Attack on Titan plot, but the plot thickens. The speedrunner starts typing, saying, hi guys, today we will do speedrun. I will get world record. Let's get some wood. So I have a feeling this is take two, and take one didn't go so well. The speedrunner really shows off their speedrunning skills when they fail to successfully break this tree multiple times, but they don't give up. They get their wood, and they make a crafting table, placing it down, but then they walk away, and you can actually see someone in the distance. Now, I don't think I'm the smartest guy around, but if I were to take a shot in the dark, a wild guess, that could be God himself. The speedrunner immediately types, is that God? They pick up a shulker box that's labeled God stuff LMAO, and inside of this box, I, I honestly don't think I can even say these things out loud. Well, they collect all this gear and equip it, and judging by the look of their character, I I, I have no idea what incarnation kind of mods this guy has installed onto his computer. This is looking a lot more like cyberpunk than it is like Minecraft right now. All the while, God is building the end portal. What does that even mean? Filling it with eyes, and then the speedrunner jumps into this portal. And like all good fake Minecraft speedrunners, this goofball is in the end with no pickaxe and no way to dig up. So of course, God comes to the rescue, throwing cooked pork chops at him. I'm not sure how that's supposed to help him. And quite frankly, I don't think that was in the script. Regardless, the speedrunner gets a pickaxe. They dig out of this hole. Once on the surface, the speedrunner magically has the ability to spawn wooden logs beneath them as they travel into the air. But before the speedrunner can even get to the ender dragon, God beats him to it, beating the game himself. And the dialogue between the speedrunner and God is truly heartwarming. We're World record, let's go. Thank you, God. Bye, my child. This honestly was more moving than the story of Christmas. Fantastic speedrun.